live on EJ page. Let's go, fam. Everybody in the picture? Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Villain Nation in the building. We got the whole fam today. Come Back. in the room, like and share the video. What share, the share, video. share the video. Right. Mech is, Mech is live on his page now. Share the button. I bet everybody in it, too. You know what I mean? We all live now. Mac in the building. Mm -hmm. Alright, babe. We're gonna wait till a couple people come in the room, like and share the video. Mm -hmm. Time to light them up. We are about to get deep, baby. Share the video, y'all. Alright, babe. I'm just about to pop it off, so um Basically, we're making this video to um, touch on the subject of hair because um, I basically made a, a post a couple hours ago and it, it, it pulled a lot of cords and people went instantly into defending themselves about doing whatever they want to do with their hair. And that ain't really the case. We're here to give y'all like the science behind why we saying what we do. We ultimately trying to help y'all, but y'all just pushing it away as soon as y'all read the messages just because y'all within y'all own way of life and y'all not really into it, trying to accept the truth and change the way y'all living for y'all own betterment. So this is just going to be a video basically dissecting all that y'all been taught about y'all hair. And to start it off, I, I want to say like it basically came from the European. Um, we, as we came out of slavery, we had no sense of self or no self-identity and we found ourselves trying to find ourselves within this society that we were just exposed to. Like after slavery, we didn't have no roots, no no identity who we truly was and what happened was we was exposed to the European society basically that we built and all we saw was white and they subliminally subconsciously put within our subconscious like yo white is right black is bad and they put up majority white people everywhere advertisements so what it did in our subconscious was like yo we have to be like them to be beautiful and that's not the case we we are naturally beautiful the way we are but we just didn't know that because we had nobody depicting it and so what this allowed us to do is it it put us in this this, this paradigm where we was constantly trying to be european so we find ourselves trying to perm our hair and dye our hair and wear makeup to appear less black and have our hair permed and straight like there so we don't have to look as black as we truly are and that's just a motive of self-hate and we we don't really grasp that people just doing it nowadays because we've been so deeply conditioned to do it to think it's normal and that it's the right thing to do many people not willing to let that shit go and it's it came from self-hate and that's what we're trying to get through y'all mind and y'all not trying to grasp it and i'm gonna just pass it to ej A lot of people, uh, yeah, we, we struck a lot of, well, Omek struck, struck a lot of chords with that post, man. This just had people coming from left and right. And w one of the biggest things were, was, um, one of the biggest things was um, being creative. Like, I do it because I like to create, I like to be creative. This is how I express myself. I dye my hair because, you know, I, I want to look different every day out the week. But we have to start looking into the technologies of our body. What's the importance behind not cutting our hair, not dyeing our hair, not putting on makeup? What's the what's the underlying things that's under that? We're not we're not even taking in, any consideration as far as what's inside the makeup that we put on our skin. What's inside the glues and all and, and what what does it do to our being when we braid our hair down to put weave on top? We actually stopping the being conducive with our environment. We stopping genetic codes from coming to us so that we can be able to interpret the proper way to actually apply it to our life. We're not getting none of the divine codes that we need because we covering it up. So that's what I want to go into, just the, the depths of the technology of our hair. What does it mean, our skin? So first, the makeup, when we put the makeup on our skin, they got all type of chemicals in makeup. I don't even know the names of them, but I know there's chemicals in makeup. When you put chemicals on your face, your skin is absorbing it, it, it absorbing it, it's absorbing it, and it's going straight into your bloodstream, and it's mutating your genes to actually do something that it's not supposed to be doing. So we're shutting off DNA that's actually supposed to be turned on and turning on DNA that's actually supposed to be turned off, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're doing when we're putting this makeup on our skin and eating meat and all the other things that we're not supposed to be doing. 
This is why Ome put that out. Like, you don't have to do this. It's even it's even deeper than that. You don't have to do that. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look how many pictures all of the women in Melanation put up yeah. to show you how beautiful you look just by being natural in nature. Like, it can't get no better than that. But we have been taught and programmed to think that we're not beautiful without all of this stuff, which is not the case. So, and with the hair. When you braid your hair down and you keep combing your hair out, you combing your nine ether out to make it straight. Then you put the flat iron on and you burning your hair. You're burning protein. Mm -hmm. You're burning something that is trying to communicate with the universe so you could be able to have the code to get out of Babylon. But then you straighten it and then you dye it. And when you dye it, you're stripping all of your melanin, which you need out of your hair to even communicate with the universe melanin is how you communicate with the universe melanin is the intelligence of the universe so when you have melanin that's like hey i'm the universe you know what i'm saying and then you strip it away even people put on uh, bleaching creams they put that on their skin and they trying to get their melanin to go away why why do you not want to be the universe like i can't understand it that you know and also, um, what I got from what you were saying, EJ, is that with women, it's their self-image that they are destroying. And with women, we put makeup on our faces and we put weave, but what we are doing and what we are, are doing to men, we are programming them to think that this is what true beauty is. So when you see women like me, Pocahontas, and EJ, you don't think that we're beautiful because we're not dressed up. We don't have, like, sexualizing our, ourselves with our clothes and with our hair or our makeup. We are being true to ourselves. So when a man look at me, he thinks there is something wrong with me. When, when my own reflection see me, she's telling me I need to fix my hair. What do I need to fix? I'm allowing myself to be who I really am. And so when you cover yourself up with makeup, not only are you covering who you are, you are messing up your skin because your skin is your biggest organ. And so if you're putting makeup over your skin, it cannot breathe, and therefore you are ha allowing blemishes to come on your face and you're getting acne. So then you have to deal with that as well. Uh, another thing I wanted to just build off of what Pocahontas said, what Pocahontas and Fury said is your hair, not Pocahontas, I'm Pocahontas, Fury and EJ said uh, is your hair is connected directly to your nervous system. So your hair is connected directly to your nervous system. So you are in constant communication with the universe. And once you know yourself and you know who you are as a woman, one, a lot of women also do things like they get relaxers. And relaxers actually create fibroids within the body and they create cancer and they create tumors. So once you actually understand the technology, like EJ said, of your body and who you are as a woman and your human, like your, your body is a computer, you will be able to understand and take care of that. Women, we are beautiful. This is why in Melanation we show ourselves in nature and outside and we're in the water and we're bathing and we're taking care of ourselves the way that we're supposed to, understanding our melanin and understanding that the light codes that we receive is because of the melanin. So if our melanin is not on, if it's disconnected, if it's shut off because we're bleaching it, because we're trying to use, you know, dyes and hair colors, that we really are not being conducive and we are not in constant communication with the universe. What is what is natural hair dye anyway? Somebody said natural I dye my hair with natural dye. Really, nigga? Really? Natural <laughs> hair dye? You it's it's still called dye. You're still dyeing your hair. Mm -hmm. How you naturally strip melanin or naturally strip the color out of your hair? I just I'm just or how curious. How you call it natural hair dye? You doing mm -hmm. something that's unnatural. It's exactly. naturally mm -hmm. black for a reason. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to talk about too um, on how you know this is like a self love type thing. I I commented. Someone <laughs> said that oh how can you say that we hate ourselves when we you know we show these acts, but people don't realize that you know love is also displayed in action. And you know these actions you know are showing the fact that you do not love yourself. When you get into the psyche of a person that dyes their hair or you know goes and does does this unnatural things, it shows that they don't love themselves. That means they don't know themselves. <laughs> and and you know it comes down to an understanding. If you do not know yourself and you go about you know dying your hair and stripping yourself of melanin that you know is in your hair this is an act that says that you do not know yourself and you don't understand yourself and you do not love yourself you know what I'm saying and someone had commented and said oh that's not true how can that be but you know it's this it's the simple fact you would love yourself if you knew that you and you this is your natural state you're supposed to be you know in tune with yourself in harmony with your body in your natural state and you're supposed to love that about yourself if you can't deal with yourself in your natural state I mean not touching your hair not doing you know all the crazy things that we try to do to ourselves obviously there's natural ways to you know be creative 
creative and expression, as we can see our reflections here. They do that all the time and post pictures. But, you know, just getting down to the premise of it, you know, you should be able to love yourself and love, you know, be in tune with your own body. If you yeah. can't be in tune with your own body, that's psych psychologically, that's saying that you don't love yourself. You know what I mean? It's deeper than, you know, the surface of what people are trying to look on. You have to go, you have to go down into the roots to get the understanding of why people act the way they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I wanted to talk about how there's um, over 5,000 chemicals in these hair dyes. I know he was talking about some of the chemicals that are in the hair dyes, but people need to understand that these are actually carcinogens. They're carcinogenic um, compounds that not only affect you if you're putting the hair dye, but even further than that, uh, when you wash out that, that dye, it's going into the water supply, and then you end up bathing in and drinking um, all of these chemical compounds in Babylon, you know, because they're getting recycled and these compounds get micronized and they can't be filtered out. So you, you can say like, oh, I just do it for myself and let me be, but at the same time, you're affecting other reflections around you. So how that's being, you know, like you're being a cancer cell to yourself and then you're affecting others around you. So it goes deeper than just saying that, oh, you can do whatever you want, you know, and we have to take responsibility and face the fact that you're affecting others around you with these 5,000 carcinogenic compounds that are detrimental to your health, you know, apart from stripping your melanin and, and doing all these things to you that's not being conducive to what you are as a human being, then you have to realize that um, it's going further than that and it's affecting those around you in your environment. And, and think about that when you're actually doing this act, you know, so that's important as well. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just something that's obvious to the eye. We, we talking about self-love and this is just scratching the surface. Self-love going to you relocating and putting your being where it originally and where it's designed to be. We not even going deep within that. We just trying to get you out of the first layer or the first step of actually like right. coming into loving yourself bro you got to love and be comfortable within your own being once you're comfortable in your own being you know how you think and you know what you're supposed to be doing that's when you can also be free of the mental bondage that's been placed upon you so you don't have to strive to be something that you're not in yeah. birth like. yeah we're here to let you know that it's okay for you to be who you really are and that you don't have to cover it up with a lie because if you're lying to yourself you're lying to the universe so therefore you're going to get that back and you're going to have those type of beings around you that de that do not know who they are as well mm -hmm. right and subconsciously it's been programmed into our system just like the horrible foods that we eat that came from slavery when they gave us the scraps yep. we've been picked this up and we keep taking it forward and nobody ever stops the cycle so just like the food, they didn't stop there. Just like the water, they didn't stop there. Your air, your whole environment. People are genetically modified. They're not even real humans. They're not even being humans. So we are here to teach you that you don't need these artificial things to put on your face to be beautiful. And subconsciously in that world, from the commercials, the movies, all the, the women in Hollywood, all the women we idolize and put on the big screens over and over, flash and subconsciously, that's what's been put into your mind. That's what you gotta realize is it's not real. It's not real, it's not the real thing, and we must come back in tune and in harmony with nature and become real. It's mostly women that do this. You don't know yourselves, you must learn the technologies of your body and get back in tune with who you are and yourself and start loving yourself. <laughs> and know that they didn't stop at the food, they didn't stop at poisoning your food, they're poisoning your mind. Yo. Free your mind and realize that this is all fake. Come back to the real. Can I add something to that real quick? Yeah. And they, they targeting the women because the women have the influence on the children. So whatever the women do, it's just right. going to be a reflection of what the upcoming generation is going to do. Right. You self-hating yourself is just going to create a trickle-down domino effect. The next generation is going to do it, and the next generation is going to do it because it's what they've been taught, and they think it's normal, and nobody trying to break the normal path of life, bro. And right. that's all it's about. Yeah. Exactly. And what I wanted to address was... Us so-called white boys, we love when a black woman shows themselves naturally, when they let their hair grow, when they let their skin glow. Like, this is beautiful for us. Any woman, when they let herself express herself naturally, it's beautiful. We don't like seeing this fake stuff on, on their hair, like dyeing your hair, flat, flat, flat ironing your hair. It's, 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 it's disgusting in a way, because we're looking at that and we're like, that's fake, that's not real. We need, to, we need to show ourselves in the realest form that's possible, and that's just letting us be letting our hair grow, letting our skin do what it needs to do, letting us say what we need to say in the most natural way. And mm -hmm. we white boys, we love when we see a black woman 
expressing themselves like this. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't like seeing these black women trying to be white women because these white women aren't, aren't living right. These celebrities are not living right. Even when the, even these black celebrities, they're not living right. And these black, when you express yourself naturally, it's absolutely beautiful. And I want you guys to understand this so that you can express yourself naturally because we love that. And I want to make an analogous to um, something that we normally hear in society is if you love a flower, don't pick it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you love yourself, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't pick it because you know, you're going against the natural norms of how everything wants to flow. You know, we're all created in a way. So, uh, Our mission here is really to trying to help you and not going against you uh, with doing those live video and all this post to show you that there is an alternative way to be beautiful as natural and to be proud of our body because in the, the way that it came out of the, the, our mother womb, it's beautiful, it's already beautiful and nothing needs to be added to justify a, a position in the fucking system that is going on and it's trying to lie to you because we experience So as long as you stay in an environment that is not conducive to your being, you're going to live the lie, you're going to stay within the programming, but if you get out of that environment and get back into nature, you will see in nature everything is as it is and everything nice. is beautiful mm -hmm. and we accept ourselves with who we are, which is nature. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because in nature, it's like everything is the same. The trees, the, the flowers, the animals. Like they know who they really are, mm -hmm. so we come back into this environment so that we can reconnect to who we really are. But as long as you're in Babylon, you're going to live the lie, and what we're saying is going to go through this ear and out the other because you're looking at everyone and seeing what they're doing, mm -hmm. and they're living that lie, so therefore you're going to do it as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I want to touch on something, and that is that when the universe so called created humans, they created them with this hair. So when we go against the way it naturally are created, we are going against God. And we, when we go against God, we are literally saying that we don't believe in the way that it is created natural. And that is very bad because the way it's created natural is much better than the way the lower self think that it should be for whatever reason. And this is completely wrong. Therefore, we should look into nature and look into what is natural in order to find the right way. Because when we are doing all this shit with our hair, we are doing so that we can be, cannot be in contact with nature. We cannot receive the proper signals that we need to receive in order to take the path um, out of karm, uh, karma. No, no, yeah, take the path out of karma, take the path out of pain, and get into heaven. So we cannot receive the right signals when we are doing all this shit with our being. That is why I really advise people to let your hair be. Stop doing everything uh, to your hair. Um, because for one sake, it's much more pretty or beautiful to be natural. Like the, yes. when you, when you have the natural hair, you can you can feel like just being around the being. You can feel the energy much more when this natural hair. Yeah. Like I was around um, uh, uh, a woman that w went from having um, unnatural hair to natural hair, and as soon as she got natural hair, I can feel yeah. that energy yeah. much more, yeah. and it was much more beautiful. Like I just felt her even more than I was just happy, you know. So I really advise people to like go into the natural way, not the unnatural, lower self way. True so, self. Yeah, yeah. I think the the most important thing is just that you are beautiful the way you are. You don't have to take anything away. You don't have to add anything. You don't. Yeah. You don't need all those products. You you are just beautiful the way you are. If you live natural, you you are beautiful. You don't mm -hmm. need anything. No makeup. You don't need any color in your hair. It just makes you less beautiful if you put these things yeah, onto you, on your face, in your hair and stuff. And yeah, that's the most important thing. You are beautiful the way you are. Yep. 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 What's going on? <laughs> Can't see me on this one? I'm going to come over here. Hey, um, I want to say this. Uh, a lot of you could, you could do whatever you want. Okay? You can do, you can go and dye your hair. You can say it's a protective uh, style all you want. You can say, you know, this is what I do. This is this is not sideways. They be doing that when people be trying to join the chat and it always make it, yeah. Hold on real quick, y'all. So I don't think it's, this yeah. one's fine right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
they ain't gonna show the full picture when they do that. You're in this one now. All right, so check it out, y'all. I'm gonna just put it like this so y'all don't have to turn the phone to the side. All right, listen up. You could do whatever you want. Each and every individual is on their individual journey. We're not telling you you can't do something. So on the page when OMAC posted the pictures or posted the videos about hair and what you need to do with your hair, a lot of people got upset uh, at the fact that he was telling them the, the facts and a hit dog is gonna holler. So we, we first we wanna say we know it's a lot of people out there changing and we don't wanna give all of our energy to the demons, the people that talk and post that are not people, most people that not learning. They're not even trying to learn. They can do whatever they want, okay? So we just want to let you know, first of all, we are not distracted by the negativity that you post on the post, first of all, because you can go do whatever you want to do. We're just giving you the facts and, um, you know, statistics on what happens when you strip color from your hair, okay? And we also want to also acknowledge all the beautiful people out there that are actually making a change, making a movement, doing your thing, you're listening to the, you're listening to the downloads, and you are making that move to a more natural self or coming into your higher self, which is basically becoming your true self. You see what I'm saying? So because we have an option. We can be our fake self. We can go down to the lower self and be our fake self and be disconnected to what we really are and knowing what we really are, and we can live in that. That's called hell. That's called living backwards, evil. E-V-I-L, live backwards is evil. You can go live in an evil state that leads to live backwards. Or you can simply want or desire. Everybody doesn't desire to live in a higher self. So a lot of people that are your friends on your page are going to see on your timeline, you talking about the facts, and then they're going to be offended by that because they don't choose or desire to live in a higher self, and they're going to defend the fact that they are delivering, they're deliberately living in their lower self, and they're okay with that. They will defend that, and we don't want to give them too much energy. We really want to say you could do what the hell you want to do, and there's going to be a consequence for that. But it, the truth doesn't care about your feelings. So we are here to educate people, and that's all simply. You can go do whatever you want. You want to eat poop? You want to eat poop? Go eat poop. Yeah. Right. It ain't going to affect me, but we're going to give you the statistics on what's going to happen if you eat poop. That's all our job is to do. Yeah. You understand? Right. So at the end of the day, I wanted to show you guys a picture about the hair. I know you guys probably heard me talk about this before. But then when you get a chance, Google this. It's called the hair root plexus, okay? Google that, guys. It's called the hair root plexus. Now, the hair root plexus is a nerve at the endings of all every bulb of your hair, okay? Your body is a communicational system. It is communicating to what you truly are, which is everything natural. That means the oxygen, the sunlight, the, 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 the food that you eat, the people that you talk to. Your body is receiving and emitting electrical signals which is energy you are a field of energy receiving and what you don't want to do is you don't want to block or alter any any receptors in your body from receiving the messages to connect to your truth that's if you desire to become your true self mm -hmm. see everybody ain't designed to do that and sometimes if you are desiring to become your higher self then you need to get away from people that are not desiring to be their higher self that's okay let them let them wake up when they wake up and we don't want to give them too much energy to those that are trying to wake up, here's the facts. There's a hair root plexus. It's a nerve that's on the end of your hair. It is connected to your nervous system. Your hair is literally connected to your nervous system. And why is that important? Because you are connected to what you truly are, which is what we call the universe. That means you. Nature is you. It is the most authentic, raw, true, those that are seeking truth, and you want the truth. Some people are okay with a lie because that's the stage of life they're in. But if you want the truth and you really desire to have the truth, then therefore you are going to seek it and it doesn't matter. You're going to find it and it's our job to put it there. You have a choice. And those of you that do ha have no desire from knowledge, please do us a favor and stay the hell off these pages because these pages are meant for those that are, are seeking occult information and seeking to wake up and connect to their true higher self, okay? And there's another thing I want to show you. And you can go research this. You're here, right here, right? You're here, cuticles. Okay? You see this? These are your hair cuticles. Okay? Your hair cuticles open and close up like a flower. Your hair is literally a plant. 
So your hair is follicles open up at a heat. When, when a certain amount of heat gets on it, it opens up and it closes. When light hits it, it opens up and closes. It receives, your hair literally receives, you know this, anybody that does hair, when you wash the hair and it's hot water, the cuticles will open up and that's how you will receive a relaxer. Okay, if they put a chemical in your hair, your hair will relax because the cuticles open up and receive the chemical and the chemical kills the hair strand. So this same thing happens when you're trying to manifest something. Say if you have something on your mind very heavily. If your body heats up to a certain temperature and you want it, you're passionately trying to manifest something and you think about it a lot, your hair cuticles will open up and will, you will, and just like a flower, you will send out a pheromone. This pheromone will be sent out into the universe and help you manifest and attract the same signal that you have been putting out. And this allows you to bring, this, this is why your hair is so important because it's a part of you manifesting and also becoming, uh, communicating with yourself, which is the true self if you want to manifest things. But if you lock your hair down, especially women, because you're so emotional creatures, you are master manifestors. Women are master manifestors, especially melanated women, because you have an antenna, which is called melanin. Melanin is an antenna. It's a superconductor, which allows you to communicate with what is, what you truly are, in the most effective way. It absorbs more light than anything other, other uh, communicator as far as uh, superconductors. Uh, as, as far as conductors like metals, like gold and silver and copper, melanin is actually a superconductor, semiconductor, which, a, which is an antenna which allows you to basically communicate with what you are. You can breathe oxygen and, and you are actually a more of a force field to make things happen, which means you're more of a God force when you have more melanin. And if you don't have melanin, and that doesn't mean anything, you can build melanin. All humans can build their melanin. We are not against anyone that has less melanin, obviously, and but we're just addressing the melanated woman and her desire to be a European woman when the European woman should desire to be more melanated as you should, but you've been taught subliminally in your life to hate yourself. So basically we want to give you the technology to those that are, are seeking occult information in the wake up. So everybody else you can kiss out. You can kiss everybody ass here. Thanks. We don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't care about yourself. But it's okay. Even you sleeping. Even you getting the message subconsciously. Yeah. So yeah. we cool with that as well. But don't distract the students that are actually here to learn. I don't care if it's one person out there that's learning. You are not here. Why are you sitting as a as a as a blocking uh, as a as a obstacle, as a blocking stone? or a stumbling block towards someone that's trying to learn on an avenue. If you don't like what's being said, just keep it moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We see our demons. We know our lower self when we hear it. Mm -hmm. We just going to block and delete you and not give you all this energy, but we do want to make it known that you're not allowed on these pages of occult information that people are seeking information. We set this stuff out for people that are actually wanting to connect to the higher self. If you're not, then that's fine. It's okay if you not want to connect to your higher self. That's okay. Your time going to come. But until then, be quiet or you're going to get blocked and deleted. My man Omek ain't having it. My peoples, we not having it. We your higher self, and this is people that want to elevate to a higher self. And with that being said, I'm going to show you one more picture. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go on my way. I'm going to be out of Facebook jail real soon. Y'all look at, <laughs> y'all look up how the sun and water communicate with the hair follicle, okay? Now, when you strip color, when you strip color, now what is color? Color is what, what tells stuff to do. That's why there's colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's colors in the, in the flowers. What makes the color green is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is, is analogous to melanin, mm -hmm. the hemoglobin in your blood. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is what makes you brown. This is what makes things brown, melanin. And then you have stuff that's green and red. All of that stuff is made from melanin. This tells things what to do. Colors are very important because when we talk about life and we talk about life force, we must talk about vibration and frequency. And so colors let us know what vibration and frequency a life force is on. When something is brown, like the earth, most of the earth ground is brown, then you know it's vibrating at a higher frequency of, con of conductivity. So at the end of the day, when you strip your hair of this color, what you're saying is, I don't love God. I don't love myself. I don't, I'm not trying to connect to my higher self. And that's fine. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. You got, you can run a red light within the laws of white, white uh, or, or European um, culture. You can run a red light. 
that's you. If you decide to run the red light, then you continue to run red lights and you'll see what happens with when the laws, when you break those laws. You might get away with it once, you might get away with it twice, but after a while, you're gonna lose your license. Mm -hmm. So that's just laws and people don't respect laws and principles and that's the problem. We have natural laws that we're trying to abide by and we're trying to just you know, help people that wanna do the same thing. That's all, we don't want no problems with nobody else if you don't do that. We just putting the information on our pages, minding our business, yes. and who are you to come along and you know, talk trash about it. You must, right. you must be a hit dog, and it must have hurt your feelings, and you're trying to justify your lifestyle. And you can't justify your lifestyle because we hit you with the facts. Exactly. Now you butt hurt, but we're not gonna sit here and give you all our energy all day. We're gonna delete and block you, and we just want to give this nice little friendly warning out to everybody out there that won't accept the truth. That's okay. You don't have to accept the truth. Me and you ain't gotta be friends. We ain't vibrating there yet. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, my, Matt, EJ. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing a good job. Continue to do what y'all doing. I love myself. We love growing. Myself. Love you know what I'm saying? Love we growing. Myself. You feel me? Everybody. We got France in the building. Hey. We got Norwegian in the building. Hey. We got Canada in the building. Hey. We got Germany in the building. Speak some German for them, man. <laughs> you solltet aufhören, eure Haare zu färben und euch selbst lieben. Word. We got Canada in the building. You speak, you speak Portuguese, though, right? Yeah, um pouquinho, um pouquinho português. Para as pessoas que falam português. See, and then you got Canadian and Canada from the six. A. A. <laughs> you got France here. J'aime ce que je suis retourné à la nature et soyez fiers de ce que vous êtes au plus profond de vous-même. See, and you got Norwegian here. You got Swedish. Speak some Swedish to him. No, Norwegian. Uh, Norwegian, okay. På tiden av bok nå nå og på tiden av se den rigtige vej. Stop og gå en vej som skader dig selv og begynd og gå en vej som kommer til at helt brede dig selv i stedet for at skade dig selv og dra dig selv ned i jorden. Word. Word. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you say, you see, it was like Nigratico. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We know what that Nigratico means, nigga. We know what that shit means. Nigga. He said Nigratico. That's that get it in. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know? We got. We <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the new word, negratico. <laughs> but look, so basically we we trying to we trying to expand this message has to be given to every walk of life, every country. We wanna be worldwide. We're international frequency called the Christ Conscious. We are the Christ Conscious and we're here to bring the people in the higher self. If you don't like that, I get it, okay. I was in my lower self at once too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wasn't trying to hear that shit, but still mind your business. And if you don't like that, we on your timeline, unfriend us. But never put negativity out into your universe in no form. And I don't care where you at, and you on your lower self or higher self, don't put negative in your, el don't put negative in your ether. Never speak negative into your ether. Mm -hmm. When you speak or whatever you do in life, don't lie, don't steal, don't do nothing wrong, because whatever you put out, it's gonna come back to you. You can't lie to yourself. You're living inside your mind and don't put no negative out because when you put negative out, it's coming back to you. Not maybe the same way, but it's always gonna come back in another form. Just a little advice for you. So stay positive whatever you do and wherever you at. I love myself, Reflection. I love myself. Yeah.